Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have Google Chrome installed. This can be done from the Discover Store. Very simple, search for Google and or Chrome and you should uh, get that as your first entry. Go ahead and install this now. Again, if you've already got it installed, this is moot, but it should tell you that it's already installed if you try to do so. All right, your install will take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> Let's make sure that we uh, have it installed, and there it is. We're gonna right click on it and select Add to Steam. You're gonna see that little blue bouncing Steam ball next to the pointer. And as soon as it goes away, open up Steam and search for Google Chrome. There she is right there. Okay, so let's go in here, go to properties, and let's rename it to the game that we're going to be making work. In this case, it's Chucky Egg, and I'll add BBC Micro to the end here just so I can remember which system it's for. All right, now either using the description below or the website noted here, we're going to get a couple of commands that we're going to need to make the magic happen. Again, they'll be down in the description below if for some reason this URL is no longer working. Let's go ahead and open up Kate. It's a great little text editor. We're going to copy the commands in there so that we can make changes to them. Go back to that description or that website and grab the contents, copy, and we will paste it into Kate. You'll probably want to open this up and let's turn off word wrap so you don't accidentally think there's two lines there. There's only, well, there are two lines, but there's not three or four lines. There you go, that looks good. This is going to be what helps us make the magic happen. Okay, now we need to go over to bbcmicro.co.uk. This is a whole plethora of playable BBC games. We're gonna go to find Chucky Egg and we're gonna hit play. This is gonna give us the URL to land directly on this page to play this game. Let's copy it. And we'll go back down to Kate. And where it says game URL. You're gonna replace all of that, including the open and close, and paste in your text for that URL. So it should be a quote, the URL, and then another quote. Grab that whole line and copy it to the clipboard. Back to our Chucky egg. If there's anything in the launch options at this point, go ahead and clear it out and paste in that line. That's it. We do have one more thing we need to do though. We need to make sure that Google has access to the control. So Google Chrome will have access to the controls on the deck. We do this with a flat pack permissions override. We're gonna grab that top line, copy it, open up a console, and we're gonna use the paste button. Don't hit control V, use the paste button. There you go. And then uh, you'll just have to hit enter. You're not gonna get any results. It's not gonna tell you it was successful or anything. Just run it and you're fine. That's it. Okay, that's the real boring part of this. Now we can actually go in and check out the fruits of our labor. We're gonna do this from gaming mode though. So let's do that. All right, we're back in gaming mode now. We'll go to our library non-Steam and there is Chucky Egg waiting for us. We need to do some control work now. So let's go in and change the current button layout to keyboard plus mouse. This seems to work very, very well. We'll hit X to apply the layout. Then we need to edit the layout. Now I do know that space is jumped, so we'll assign that to A and it's already there. But what about B, X, Y? What other buttons do we need? Now I've got a lot of buttons written down that I noted from the game's attract screen. Every game is different. So I do know we need an H for hold. So I'll assign that to B. Now for X, we're gonna do something a little different. We're actually going to use a magnification toggle. You'll understand more in a minute. Just understand that we're gonna assign X to be the system toggle magnifier button. So let's go over there, set it to toggle magnifier. Why you can do whatever you want with. I think you'll probably need an escape plus H. So maybe assign it to that. Next up, we're gonna to go to our D pad and these are also keyboard commands. And it's AZ, 
comma plus. Now, every game is a little different. You're gonna have to know what keys to assign here. You can't just blindly assign these and hope that it works. All right, so now we've got our directions. Uh, let's also, we also need an S for start and a one for one player. So let's do that with our menu and view buttons. Should be easy peasy here. All right. So we'll set that to one and we'll set this to S. Perfect. We should have all the controls we need now. This should do it. Everything should just work now once we get inside the game. I think it's time for us to try it out. All right, if this is the first time you've run the Google browser, then you're gonna get some of this stuff. I left it in because I didn't want you guys to freak out when you saw it. If you didn't install Chrome prior to this, then you're gonna probably have to go through these screens. And uh, unfortunately that kind of sucks, but at least you've seen it. Now it does say that your browser suspended audio, pushing any button should bring that back. I've intentionally uh, removed the audio because it's, uh, it's a little overbearing inside the game, but uh, trust me, it's there and it works. All right, so this game, uh, I don't know much about Chucky Egg. Uh, I had it on the Commodore 64, I think, but I don't really remember playing it. But you can see here, there's a game of skill for one to four players, space to start, which remember we have assigned to the A key, and we have S to start from here, which we have assigned to one of the top menu item buttons. And then we have view for player one. And here we go. And it's working. It works actually just fine. Now the ladders are a little bit sensitive to try to get up. I had to, I found I had to be like right underneath them. I don't know if that's a byproduct of the original game or not but it definitely seems to be here. So we can of course exit the game anytime we like, just like this. And uh, we'll go back into the game to make sure none of those weird Google pop-ups happen. Look at that, just bing, bang, boom, you're back in the game. Absolutely perfect. All right, so we can exit the game again, however we like. Once again, we'll run the game and it's time to show you how to handle the zoom. That's right. So remember, we assigned toggle magnifier to the X button. Well, there's a couple of oddball things about the, the magnifier, and we're gonna turn it on in just a minute, and it'll line up just perfectly with the screen. You'll be like, yes, that's awesome. Unfortunately, yours won't do that. <laughs> so let's take a look at what that looks like. I'll let, let it get into the actual game screen. Okay, so we'll get started into a game here so that we have the level up in front of us. And then we're gonna hit X and look at that, it's perfect. Unfortunately, you have to make it perfect by using the trackpad to line that screen up. And I know what you're gonna say. Once I get it lined up, do I have to do this every time I play the game? The answer appears to be no. It seems that the magnifier settings that you set are saved with the game profile. So as you can see, if we hit X to toggle it on and off, you'll see everything exactly the way it should be. And that's great. You can do that for each and every game. Well, listen, I know this wasn't as elegant as a, of a solution as I would have hoped it to be, but it is a solution to get you playing BBC games today. Hey, listen, if you like what you saw, of course, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandro. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.